Hello fellow engineers! We are back in the terrifying Kerbal Space Program. I wish I was as happy as that dude. That's upside down. <laughs> I'm, more, I'm more like the one in the middle at the moment. If you can see in the background, the, uh, the planet looks a bit different. I've installed mods! <laughs> Because <laughs> obviously I mastered the base game and I was bored of that now. <laughs> and basically, on my last video, the safest ever rocket, which was a great success, I want to try and get my butt plug rocket to Uranus. <laughs> yep, we've sunk to that level, people. Right, let's go in. So of course, we're going to be the UK Space Agency, everyone's favourite space agency. <laughs> we have a space agency? Alright, we're going in. It's a lot different than it was. There's mountains everywhere. So I'm actually going to say I have installed a mod correctly. Cool. Okay. So let's go design butt plug 2.0. So how do you design a rocket? <laughs> you need a command pod? Yes, we have that. But how do I keep forgetting how to play this game every time? Okay, so we're going to put a load of these on. I'm going to move that up a bit and we'll bung these down. We've got a long way to go. I think Uranus is pretty far, as far as my space knowledge is concerned. So this could be a tall rocket. <laughs> right, so I've added a load of fuel, and uh, I've finally taken advantage of the extreme ceiling height. Let me see the top. It's up there somewhere. <laughs> there it is. All right, and to avoid sinking, like last time, <laughs> I'm going to put a heat shield, and then a decoupler, and then the command pod says a decoupler in there. And then my heat shield. And then another decoupler. So hopefully it won't sink this time. Because obviously I'm going to cover it in parachutes again. <laughs> Alright, so we'll bung a parachute on the top. Uh, safety first. <laughs> That's so dumb. My favourite, the drogue chute. So again, we want a lot of these. Because they're all about safety. Right, there we go. I think that should be quite safe coming home. Because I'm worried we're going to be going really fast. I'm not going to be able to slow down. So, Because uh, I'm not turning this thing around. It's huge. <laughs> so we're just going to rely on parachutes to slow down. The trouble is now I can't select the whole rocket. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, so now we've just about got space for a rocket underneath. So our, well, our engine. Uh, we want as powerful as we can get really. Which I think is that one. Oh, it's quite hefty. Okay, what I might do... We'll delete some of these. So we'll delete that. And maybe we can like go to a bigger size. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's looking good. Uh, so that's our moving in space bit. I'm then gonna need some sort of booster thing to get me up there. So which boosters have the most thrust? That's what I need, thrust. So that one's 200. 20? 10? Okay, I think I want this one then. They're tiny! Are there not any? Oh, actually, I'm gonna... Before I do that as well, I'm gonna do my decouplers. So, decoupling, let's get these radial ones. So I'm determined to do this properly this time, guys. I've learnt a lot in my last few episodes. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to get it to connect to the right... Oh, that was it. Did it go green? Uh, they're not bloody connected to the right bit. I'll tell you what I could do, actually. I could... I'm pretty sure I can get these smaller ones. Yeah, so they're connected to the decoupler. Excellent. And now... Oh, I'll just put a lid on those first. Uh, aerodynamics? Really? We're, we're doing this, are we, game? <laughs> I literally cannot get these to go in... Oh, there you go. There you go. Right, so we've got those connected, and then I'll connect my big boosters to these ones. Alright, this looks like it might be a bit wobbly. It's not really a butt plug. I guess it's a reverse butt plug. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do a, one of the make it bigger, make it smaller things. Oh no, I'm not, no I'm not. What I'm gonna do instead. Shit. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we've got to try it, haven't we? We've got to try it. I just want to see what happens. Ready. Oh god, nothing's attached. Oh, the frame rate! <laughs> right, those... Okay. Interesting. <laughs> See your rockets through. <laughs> it's like a big old missile launch. Ooh, look at the map though! We're going up, we're seeing it. There's mountains and stuff. Yeah, back to the drawing board, I think. Alright, that's what I wanted. 
Right, okay, we'll test this for now. I might need to strap all those together. I'm a little bit worried. Launch. I'm worried it's gonna... Oh, oh dear. Oh. <laughs> they're dancing. Oh, and they're upright again. <laughs> no, no. Yes. So launch. Oh, oh dear. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at it. Gibbering all over the place. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, right, I think I learned that you can use the old structural, the struts, and they sort they detach when your decouplers detach as well. And we'll do the same down the bottom as well. Yeah, so hopefully that should be a bit better now. So let's let's launch that. Yes, it's holding perfectly. <laughs> it looks a bit windy up there. Is that bending? That's bending. Oh no! <laughs> What's it doing? Uh. Yeah, about that. Um, uh, it's gonna... The camera's going all over the place. Right, little bit worried if I take off. We're just gonna somersault now. Not entirely sure the best way around that. Unless I could strut from these to the tip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> either way, I'm gonna launch the world's bendiest rocket. And uh, just see what happens. Jeb's like, why am I upside down? <laughs> right, come on then. Ready? Oh, yep. We're doing a perfect somersault. Oh, no. Ah, dear. I'm going to revert to launch. I'm just going to launch straight away before we start bending. So let's hit go before we start bending. Yes, we're going up straight. Oh, what? What if I SAS it? Oh, God. Oh, oh no. I don't think I can steer the boosters either. Why does it look like I've made a flaming tampon? <laughs> oh no, not into the ground, not into the ground! I feel like this won't bend in space though, because there's no gravity in space. I have a feeling that's probably not a correct statement. Right, so if we go from the tips of those all the way up to there. Oh, I can't. Do they have a max length? Oh, they can only go to there, that's no good. That's not going to stop anything bending. Maybe I just need a more rigid rocket. Yeah, what if I put the fat one on that I've got down there? So if I keep, I don't know, four of those, move that to the side. Yeah, I think this will work. So, so we should have that to a larger one. Yes, and then that one to the big boy tank. Yes. And that's why rockets look like that in real life. So they don't bend. Right? <laughs> so can I do, what did I have? That one. But I want it upside down. Why can't I rotate this? Oh, there you go. There you go. Yes. He's learning. He's going to get to Uranus. <laughs> so we got that little bit. And then we got a fat bit to stop it bending. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> and then that on top. What is this? Right, okay. We're going to launch. Stupid as it looks, I think this might actually work. Looks good so far. Oh, the camera's going mental. Oh, no, it is bending. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, it's been ripped apart! Oh, God. Okay, that, that was a fail. But he's he's fine. We've lost some of the parachutes. But I think the parachutes just saved him. Let's launch straight away again and just see if that helps. With SAS on. Oh, no, it just wants to break. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, right. Parachutes! We're gonna survive this. It went horribly wrong, but we've survived. <laughs> Look at the rocket in the background. Wow. wow. Oh, I didn't make the mountain. Oh, I blew up. I call that a partial success. Danger. Explosive bolt. Right, I think the trouble is it just doesn't want to go small again. So I'm gonna take that and delete those. And then I'm gonna add a few more of these. And then that. Shit. <laughs> How did I do that? Right, yes, and then that's all connected. It goes... <laughs> it's quite an unusual rocket. Got a little point on top, that's fine. This is all normal. And then just randomly thin bit in the middle. But I think that might be okay now. I know I've said that a few times today, but... We're not even in space yet. 
Right, this seems to be a bit better. The camera is not going mental. The shadows are, but that's fine. <laughs> Sweet, let's go. Right, I'm going to start turning a bit. Ooh, look at the mountains in the background. It's the first time we've got high enough to see. God, we are running out of fuel though. Oh, so our little boosters have just died. We've still got the big boys. Things are a bit wobbly. Don't know if that's the camera or... I think we're looking good though. We're nearly in space. There's a Death Star. I'm going to try it. I'm turning as much as I can. But we're struggling. We don't seem to be burning up. I assume it's because we're not going fast enough. Oh, they're not happy. Right, okay. Can we decouple these or will the struts go mental? Uh, I think we're decoupled. Let's fire the next. See you later, rockets. Uh, oh god, we seem to be going straight up and bent. We've lost all our rigidity. <laughs> I'm trying to turn. We're kind of look a bit like a fish <laughs> with a wagon tail. <laughs> what is it? I've like sent a needle into space. We've got plenty of fuel though, so that's good. And we're in space. We've got space music. All right, so at the moment we've got a fiery death coming up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just speed up a bit. All right, and it is getting bigger now. You can see this light. Oh shit! Something just blew up. What was that? Oh no, we lost our boosters. There goes our boost. <laughs> shit! <laughs> they are gone. They are long gone. All right, that thin middle bit is gone. We're just gonna have to have a constant fat one the whole way up. All right, that actually looks like a real rocket. However, we were a bit slow, like getting up into space. So I might add a few more boosters. All right, so I'm a little bit worried those boosters aren't attached, actually, because I think as soon as it started, they just dropped down. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see, we'll press play. They might shoot off, which would be a little bit annoying. Damn it. <laughs> see ya. Oh, most of them are attached. Well, it's like a ring. Look at the shadow. All right, we're going to go catch it up. I can't see a thing because we're stuck in the smoke. Oh no, now they're going. Oh no, there's just a trail of rocket after rocket after rocket. All right, so this is looking straight up. I think just coming into view there is our main part of the rocket. Is it? I couldn't really see. <laughs> so this is what we got from the side. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm going to restart that. Right, we shouldn't have that problem again. Yes, that looks much more secure. <laughs> it's glitching the uh, shaders out. I think we're ready and we should be able to get to space a bit quicker this time. Get there much quicker because there's a lot less frames. <laughs> Considering how good my PC is, it's been struggling with this game today. It's shaking all over the place. I'm gonna start turning head and right. Oh, it's trying to go left. I'm going to make it go right. You will obey me, Rocket. You will obey me. Yeah, all of our new struts are doing their job, it looks like. The top of our rocket's still a bit bent, but... Uh, <laughs> nice, we've used half of our fuel, so I'm going to start tipping right over. So we want to get some speed. Oh, look at the flip. Look at the smoke trail. It's like snowflakes. It's snowing. <laughs> right, so we should be absolutely creaming it around the planet now. And I do, I'm going to go left a bit because we do need to get a bit higher. Left being up. So we're running out of fuel. And if we're not there, then we might not make it. I think we should be fine though. Oh god, they're not happy. What's going on down there? I've got a lot of bars. <laughs> and the bars aren't full, which usually is not a good sign. Ah, we made it. So I think I can decouple all of those now. Ready? And then we'll just try and get away with them from them there you go sorted i feel like we've got a lot less fuel now it just doesn't seem as long but i think it's just because it's less sections all right so we'll drop those down a bit we seem to want to be tilting left constantly all right so we're gonna have a quick look on the map and just see how we're doing oh that's not the map right so we very much need to like head down <laughs> i'm gonna Speed up time a tad, and I'm going to get to the apoapsis, as I remembered from last time. Because that's where our sort of 
directional changes will be more efficient. Alright, so we're getting close now. So I've slowed down time. If we want to add a maneuver, I think the one we want to do is... What? Make that a circle. Yep, so that's what we want. Yes, yeah, so you can see this line is very slowly moving out. We're at full throttle. We've got to do it for another 49 seconds. No, I think I'm at the wrong thing. Hang on. <laughs> I think I need to, like, rotate a bit. I think there's another coloured icon I need to aim for. So I think it might be that one. Yes. Although we've gone past it now. Oh, God. No, we're t <laughs> we've done this really wrong. Am I... I'm on the opposite oh, okay, I want to go the other way. I want to find that arrow, I think. It's a dark blue icon. So I'm going to spin myself around. So I am spinning. Blimey, Jeb's well happy. He's like, I'm finally going to get to Uranus. And look, that's the Earth now. That's my mod. Oh, got to slow down. Oh, God, I went past it. Oh, God. <laughs> but uh, it might look like I don't know what I'm doing, but you'd be surprised. I think this is what I'm after. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start turning to try and slow myself down. So I should really add another manoeuvre so it tells me what to do, but I think I can sort of eye it in. That's how they would have done it back in the day, right? Alright, I'm going to zoom out. I don't think that's too bad. Obviously it's not a perfect orbit, but I think that's alright, to be honest. So we're a bit on the wonk, but that's fine. I'm going to sort of... There's the mun. Oh, I don't know if I have installed the right mod. There's no Uranus. Well, let's try and get to another planet at least and just see what it's like. What one would be similar to Uranus? Dress? Now, let's do this one. This big jewel. So, jewel is my target. Right, so I want to, from there, add a maneuver. And I want to aim for you. Right, so I'm about in the right place. Just got to keep the dot in the circle and everything should do what I want it to. I think. What well, is so wobbly? Look at this wobbly bastard. <laughs> See ya, Earth. We'll be back once we've blown through Uranus. Whoa, look at that river. It's really rivery. Ooh, I think we've detached from the orbit now. So our bar doesn't orbit anymore. I'm literally going to try and eye this in. And try and get us to the moon. <laughs> instead. Alright, that looks good. Let's speed her up. Oh no, the moon's moving! Damn you, moon! We would have got there, though! Alright, what I might do when we get a bit closer is sort of chase it. I've got a little bit of fuel. Can we add a manoeuvre to... Alright, let's do that. So I've got a move this. I only need to burn for 11 seconds. I can't remember what colour it was. What is going on with this screen? <laughs> I think, is it the light blue one? It's got to be the light blue one, isn't it? Or is it the dark blue? Let's try and eyeball this in. Okay, so I reckon I'm currently facing the wrong way, so it's got to be the dark blue, I think. So where is... Ah, oh, the dark blue's coming up. Oh no, my butt's too high. My butt's way too high, surely. Right, we're a bit low. I'm sure no one's ever played this game like this before. <laughs> Just trying to eye it in. I wonder how many actual Kerbal Space Program players are still watching at this point. <laughs> oh, I'm dreadful. I need to learn. I need to I need to get back on a stream where everyone tells me what to do again. Oh no, we're drifting. We're going the wrong way. I think we're spinning. Are we spinning? God damn, we're spinning. Right, that's dead on. I've jing I did it. I think we're heading straight for the moon now. Oh, bloody moved again! <laughs> I reckon we'll just get close, though. I might even be able to get over there. What way am I facing? Sort of the right way. So, maybe aim for those blue ones? That hasn't worked at all. Oh, and we're out of fuel. We're out of fuel. It's all over, guys. It's all over. <laughs> we might collide with something still. Alright, so let's just keep going. <gasps> till we get close. Are we on the right plane to collide. We might be. 
Ooh. Space. <laughs> no one knows its secrets. Especially not this civil engineer. <laughs> Hang on, where's Je is Jeb alive? Yeah, he's alright. How long has he been in space for? Seven years! <laughs> Sorry, Jeb. This isn't how I wanted it to end for you. But, uh, I only know how to build bridges, it seems. Our dream of sending a butt plug to Uranus is over, I think. But, uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe there's some sort of random luck we can just keep this going for a few more years. <laughs> right, I've now spent my entire lifetime on this mission. <laughs> And I don't think we're any closer to Uranus. 32 years. Yeah, bit of a waste. So, back to the drawing board, I guess?